Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species we have in the UK. For the 12th video, we're going to take a look at Lysotriton vulgaris, or the smooth newt. Smooth newts are the species of newt that you're most likely to find in a garden pond in the UK. They are greyish brown and have an orange belly. They're covered in black spots, including on their throat, which helps you tell them apart from the similar palmate newt. These spots are larger on males than on females. During the summer breeding season, the males also have a smooth crest running the full length of their body and tail. Although smooth newts can grow up to 10 centimeters long, the females usually don't get this large. This species is common throughout most of the UK, only being absent from a few parts of Western Scotland, Western Wales, and a few islands. They are Northern Ireland's only native newt species. Their main threats are habitat loss and fragmentation. During most of the year, smooth newts are found on land, within grasslands, woodlands, hedgerows, and marshes. They will return to bodies of water like ponds during late spring and summer for their breeding season. The male smooth newts will perform elaborate underwater courtship dances, trying to entice the females by wafting a secretion from his glands through the water. They will then drop a spermatophore into the water, which contains their genetic information. The female will collect this and develop her offspring inside her. A week later, she's ready to lay her eggs, which will usually have different fathers. The female lays each of her eggs individually, carefully wrapping each one up in a piece of aquatic vegetation in the pond until she's laid around 300 eggs. These greyish coloured eggs are each surrounded by a 3mm wide capsule of translucent jelly. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen smooth newt eggs. Depending on the weather, in the next two to four weeks, these eggs hatch into newt larvae. These beigey brown larvae will grow up to four centimetres, which is when they undergo metamorphosis. Unlike frogs and toads, they develop their front legs before their back legs and have feathery gills behind their heads for breathing, which they lose as they transform. Around 10 weeks after hatching, as soon as they've lost their gills, these juvenile newts will leave the water. They're known as efts at this stage, walking around on land for the next two to three years before they mature into adult newts. In autumn, they will shelter in damp wood and rocks to overwinter, living through this cycle between water and land for up to 14 years. As an amphibian, adult newts don't have lungs as developed as ours are. They rely on gulla pumping to breathe, which is a process that involves sucking air in, pushing it down to the lungs by raising the floor of their mouth and contracting their throat, then reversing the process to breathe out. They can also use cutaneous respiration to breathe through their skin, thanks to a large network of blood vessels close to the skin's surface. This lets them breathe underwater, but because the adults lose their juvenile stage gills, they can only sit at A underwater for a limited period of time. While it's in the water, the smooth newt will eat crustaceans, mollusks, and tadpoles, whereas on land it will eat a range of invertebrates, like caterpillars, worms, and slugs. However, they have a variety of predators. As larvae, they are eaten by water beetles, dragonfly nymphs, fish, and adult newts. As adults, they are eaten by fish, grass snakes, ducks, and kingfishers. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, then make sure to check out some of my other videos. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.